you know, and I'll pull some for you. Um, I'm going to pull the energy cards today, actually. Oh, no, right now I'm going to pull this one um, from the Work Your Light deck. So I just want to share with you about something that happened yesterday um, because of my focus and clarity with my life right now. And because now I've never had this much focus and clarity in my life. Um, so yesterday, my beautiful friends and I met down at Top Golf and... Um, also I got a job, I got a new, I got a job offer at a place that I have been desiring and focusing and had in my vision for, um, about six months now. Um, longer than that, I didn't know, but, uh, I'm finally there and it took persistence, it took patience and it took consistency. Um, this is how we manifest abundance, you guys, is through patience, consistency, and persistence. If you feel like that you're bothering people, do it anyway, all right? Just a little tip there. So yesterday, I said, I need to get new scrubs. I want to get new scrubs. I want to go get scrubs somewhere. Now, we were down in the Carmel area, so we're like, we're going to go to the bougie Goodwill. <laughs> so we did. We went there. And I said... As I walked in, I said, I need to find the scrubs here because you know what? Like in Kokomo, I found some pretty good scrubs there. And as I'm saying that, this lady was like, I have scrubs in my car, some like really nice ones, the stylish ones, like you can have them. And she's like, come on, I know this is weird, but let's go. And she literally gave me a bag of scrub, like, like stylish new scrubs. And my friend Amber was like, how did that just happen? <laughs> like, did that just happen? And yeah, it did because I was clear and I voiced it to the universe, to God, whatever your spiritual beliefs are. I have been like, I needed scrubs. Another example, and this is why you need vision, like stay on your game, you guys. Like, I'm telling you, if you stay focused, and this is what happens when people get into like depression, when we get in depression, when we get into, we get angry at ourselves because maybe life isn't turning out the way we want it to. It's because of our focus. So if you're focused, if you're telling yourself you're not good enough, okay, or maybe everything's going great, everybody's nice to you, you know, you got the job somewhere, and then all of a sudden, you know, maybe something happens to where that job doesn't work out and then you're like, okay, I'm not good enough. That wasn't meant for me. Who do I think that I am? So for me, I've been trying for six months at this point, you know, I knew I wanted to work in recovery somewhere. I wanted to help other people recover to the degree that I have from addiction, right? And I knew, and the only way that I knew that, you guys, was by being honest, if you're lying to yourself right now, or if you're trying to uphold a certain picture for other people, I'm just going to be honest with you. You will never, you're not going to, to reach wherever you're trying to go. It's not going to happen. If you're lying to yourself and if you're pretending to be someone that you're not, then it's going to take a lot of energy. And so you need to get honest, okay? And then you can get super fucking clear. And then guess what? The things just start popping up when you start to be honest and start to talk about them and, and do a live. I don't even care what you do, but just be real. Like, the, like fakeness is going, nobody wants fakeness anymore. Authenticity is going up. If you're going to try to be something you're not because you, you think you're not good enough, then it's, you're, it, it's going to thing you're going to attract that. Okay. So I work with energy. I That's what I do. Something that changed my life was my mindset, working on my mindset first, and then, then working on my energy, and then I got really clear of who I was as a soul, like my soul mission, and connecting with my true self, my true nature, connecting then with my higher power, my higher self, whatever it is you guys want to call it. But now... And here's something that a lot of people do when they're going after something. They think that the, the universe, you know, if things don't work out the way they want, okay, so for example, you don't get the job, then you take that as a sign. Oh, then this must not be the field I need to be in. Or, oh, this must not be the path I should be taking because something bad, someone else made a decision that didn't align or something, right? And then we take it and we don't get that job that something's wrong with us. Okay, what did that person, what did I not, I'm not doing that person wanted? Or if someone breaks up with us, right? 
oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Why did that person break up with me? What do I need to be better at? That's totally ass backwards, okay? It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> That's why. This is actually a training on your energy. This book is will literally will help you raise your, your vibration. That's what it really is. That, that's what the four agreements do, which we're doing that over in the soul relaunch. And so back to what I, how to manifest abundance, like right the fuck now. So what has went well in your week? What have you manifested this week? You might not think that you've manifested anything, but you have, okay? Your, your thoughts and your desires, there's something that's matched up, all right? Focus on that because I'm gonna tell you, if you're not loving your life right now, you're focusing on what's not going well. So to shift that, you need to focus on what's going well. What's going, what is going, not even well, but like what is going the way that I picture it. And you know what though? Do you even have a vision? Do you even have goals? Like, so it can even go deeper than, than that. Of Like if you don't even know what you want, if you're just kind of like, you know, going wherever the wind takes you or who will accept you into their group or, you know, whatever job will accept you. Is that what you're doing? Like, what is it? If that's what you're doing, then that it's time to, to, to get away from that of like, okay, obviously I'm, and even if you're telling yourself that you're like, you know, you're going to all these places because you're searching for something, Okay, well, what are you searching for? Do you know what you're searching for? Um, I guarantee you, whatever you're desiring or you're wanting to manifest, you already have that in your life somewhere, okay? So how to manifest more abundance right the hell now, like right now, is to pay attention to what you're focusing on. What are you focusing on right now? I mean, you're, you're right here. Where is your mind? Like, are you thinking about the past? Are you thinking about what didn't happen? Are you, or are you, are you worried about something that is going to be, that could happen? Are you worried about something that's coming up and like, if it's going to work out, whatever, is that what you're doing? Okay. Let's come right here. We need to be present. If you, if your mind is in the past or in the future, you're not manifesting. You're, you're not to your highest ability of manifesting abundance. You're manifesting all the time, by the way. You're manifesting every single thing that happens in your life, okay? Everything. Everything that happens, the way that your, your money situation is, I mean, this is hard for me to say, okay? Because it's not the best <laughs> right now. However, I'm, cha we're, I'm changing that. And I've done that by by focusing on and working on my mind and my emotions and taking my power back from things outside of me that I was allowing to dictate how I showed up in my life. Showing up is 90% of success. So just showing up and doing something or, you know, and also like commitment and, and when you say you're going to do something, just showing up is 90% of that. Now, we can get into a whole other thing with that, especially if you're someone like me who has not always showed up to everything that she has. And that's one of the things I've had to start, you know, work on and clear in my energy. And so my first thing, my first, like what I'm sharing with you of what's worked with me or helped me manifest more abundance into my life, like right now is to focus or to pay attention to what I'm focusing on. Am I focusing on drama that happened yesterday? Or, you know, what didn't happen? Or am I focusing on what happened well? Like, what did happen that I actually had a part in? So the whole thing with the scrubs thing. And then also, the last four or five months, I've been showing up consistently every week to do a workshop um, that I was invited to do by my wonderful, beautiful friend um, at Turning Point. And I just consistently showed up there. And then I knew as I observed, because you guys, we have a, we have a say where, where we, what happens in our life. Like we need to observe companies and observe places that we want to work at to see if that's where we want to work. When you go into an interview, and this isn't what I was going to talk about, but I kind of feel like I do. Like when you go into an interview, that's not just like, they're not just seeing if you're good enough to work there. Like you have to also take in like, be like, is this somewhere I want to work? So I hope that you're like, you know, it's not just about other people 
deciding if you're good or not, good enough or not, or have the skills that they're wanting. It's also you deciding if that is somewhere you'd want to work. And I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I just did two of them. Boundaries. So I guess we need to, boundaries right now, <laughs> our self boundaries. And then Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. We are literally creating heaven on earth right now. It is possible, you guys. Like, heaven is not, to me, I don't believe it's just a kingdom in the sky, right? Heaven could totally be here, and it's when we allow the energy of love to override the energy of the lower vibing energy of anger and hate and, and judgment and gossip and all of that, right? That is hell on earth when we live in that. And so when it comes to creating your most badass life, manifesting, having more money, having people that love you around you, being in healthy relationships, um, knowing who you are, like you, like, you know, when you know who you are, like that is when life gets really freaking interesting. Like you can manifest quickly when you know what you want, when you stay focused, and when you stay consistent and patient. And stop seeing everything as a sign as to, oh, I need to do that or not. Okay? Or stop waiting for other people to like be like, hey, yeah, come and do this with us. No, you choose what you want. So my question to you to create a badass life, start manifesting stuff, is how clear are you on what you want? You know, are you changing your mind all the time? How, cl how clear or quick are you to make decisions? Does it, take, does it take you a long time to make a decision? Um, you know, how, where is your mindset? Are you focusing on the right things? And so that's really the key right there. It's super freaking simple is what are you focusing on and what, how quick are you at decisions and how clear are you? So I'll put these all at the top. I want to know what do you want and what are you creating? And I also want to know what have you manifested over the last couple weeks? Okay, so please let me know. Let me know your questions on all of this manifestation because it just takes you focusing on the right thing. And so if you have trouble with all of that, come over to the Soul Relaunch and we would absolutely love to help you over there to get everything you want in your life. If you're in depression, if you're in anxiety, if you're in addiction, if you don't, if you're too, totally disconnected from from your truth, if you feel like you're lying all of the time, if you feel like that your energy is totally off balance, if you are on a ton of medicine for just all these different things, then we'd love to have you over there, okay? It's time to like bring everything back in, find who you are, get clear on what it is you want your life to look like, and then start calling that stuff in. It's totally possible and it all starts with you of where your mindset is. So even before I work on soul work, I work with mindset first because if you can't direct your thoughts to where you want them to be, then we can't really, I mean, you can work on the soul part and the energy part without really having to know exactly what's going on. But when you can when you can direct where your thoughts go, I mean, or where your folk in where your focus goes, that is the secret. That is absolutely the secret. And so, okay, guys, I hope you have a good Sunday. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Bye.